guys, it's Cara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this video is something that I should have posted last week, but because my local DIY shop is still not open due to the quarantine, I finally caved and just ordered everything off of Amazon because I was just so sick of my shop not being open. And I really think I'm starting to get cabin fever just a little bit. Also, I really need to apologize for the state of my hair. Um, I've gotten into this really bad habit since quarantine of not brushing it which as a hairdresser is a terrible thing to say. So for today's video, I figured we would make over my pantry because that room is just absolutely disgusting. I am sick of looking at it. It's being used just to store junk, not even really used to store food. And just looking inside of it gets me so depressed and I just really wanna change it. Just a quick thing to point out, if you notice that my outfit and hair keep changing throughout this video, it's because I actually filmed this video over uh, a period of days and I didn't film it all during the same day as I usually do. So, here we go. DIY cheap pantry makeover. Okay guys, are you ready for this? <laughs> I am so embarrassed with this room. I'm actually tempted just to not show you and just show you the final product, but might as well get it over with. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so embarrassed with the state of this room. This is acting as a sort of a semi storage thing where I'm literally just throwing everything to get it out of the way because unfortunately due to the quarantine my house is not finished and there is no room to put everything like and this is where my rabbit has jumped in and just pulled everything out this is just this is embarrassing this has got to go so obviously the very first thing to do was just take out all of this clutter and find somewhere else to put it and as you can see monsters come to give me a hand or should i say make more mess <laughs> Now that I've removed all the clutter, I'm now taking my shelving down because I want to paint these walls. These shelves were never actually supposed to stay in the first place, they were just a quick solution to what I had to make deal with at the time because there were no shelves in here whatsoever. Now on to my least favourite thing in the world, painting, oh god. If you guys watched my DIY bathroom makeover then you will know that there is nothing I hate more in the world than painting. If I could afford to get somebody to do this for me, I totally would. Be faster in Whilst my paint was drying, I decided to use the time to redo these shelves. They're just plain wooden shelves and there's not really much interesting about them so I'm just going to scrub them down properly before I go in with this contact paper that I got from Amazon. It's just a really nice slate uh, style contact paper. It was really cheap and it looks super realistic as you can tell. So making sure that everything is laid down nice and flat, I'm just going to take the measurements so I know what size I'm going to need. shelf brackets from Amazon they were really really inexpensive and all I'm going to do here is just take my tape measure and divide this shelf into three and then I'm going to place the bracket about a third of the way along and just drill it in with these tiny little screws. Once the shelves have been done I decided to repaint this door using all-purpose white spray paint. 
Now it's time for me to hang my shelf. So using a spirit level, I'm just gonna check that the shelf is completely straight. And then I'm gonna mark with my pencil just inside the brackets where the screws need to be. That way I know exactly where the screws have got to go when I go to drill everything in. Another thing you will know if you watch my DIY bathroom makeover is that I absolutely hate the tiles I have in my house. So I'm just gonna take the same contact paper that I used on the shelves to go over the floor in here. And I'm using contact paper instead of linoleum or new tiles because no one's exactly going to be walking in this room. It's too small of a room to be walking in. Plus when it's done, you're not even gonna be able to tell that it's not even real linoleum or even brand new tiles. I'm using these gorgeous little storage jars to store all my food and the only thing I really changed about these was I just sprayed the brackets clips silver, I don't know what you call these, and I'm just going to start filling them in with all the food that I have in my bags and that needs to be stored away. I found this gorgeous little storage basket in my local supermarket and I'm going to use this to put any of the leftovers that I have from these bags because I don't want them sort of flopping all over my pantry otherwise we're going to end up with the same mess that I had in the first place. Now of course the fun part is putting everything back and this was actually the part I was most looking forward to because I was just so excited to see how it would look when it was done. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how different this room looks. It looks absolutely insane and it's just exactly what I pictured in my head. Everyone thinks that you're somebody else. You even convinced yourself. Couldn't even see you through the smoke. Looking back, I probably should have known. But I just wanted to believe it. You there you have it you guys, my DIY pantry makeover. I will leave everything that I used in the description box in case you're interested in buying any of it. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Until next time, bye!